So to support our door, um, I've taken on the idea of using um, an old rail wheel, uh, rail car wheel, um, to support the loads, um, as um, as if it had some kind of a s historical significance to the site or to the project. Um, so the references, and uh, hopefully on the second pass, I'll do a little better job of uh, drawing it. But um, typically these are supported on the outsides. We won't do that. And um, this is just a reuse of the basic wheel assembly. But you can see how it dishes out uh, and the characteristics that are on it. Let me see if I can find a clearer example. This is probably a nice little model of it. That's a little small. Anyway, that's the basic concept. So let's jump into Revit and uh, build a new a new support structure and wheel assembly. So I'm going to open up a new family and it'll be a generic model. And nothing special going on here. Just So we'll um, just use the existing reference planes. And I'll make one extra reference plane so we have an idea of scale. So I'll take this one. We're going to do a sweep to start to construct the wheel. So I'll just, um, it's not going to allow me to move that. So I'll just make a new reference line. And we're going to make it, um, let's say, 38 inches in diameter. So that's 15, 19 inches. So that's the half of the shape. We're going to do a sweep along this axis here. And I'll go through it and you'll see it relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and I guess it's not a sweep, it's a revolve around an axis. So let's draw a perimeter shape. We're going to want to uh, come over a little bit to give that lip And right now I'm just sketching this out and I'll come back in and add some other detail. Um, should be relatively robust, I would think. Now down here we have um, some kind of an axle and we need to create an opening for that so let's just come up here a certain amount and we want that to protrude out let's go oh six inches thinking this is the size of the bearing opening we want this to be uh, let's say a s well let's do let's do an eight inch so we'll do a four inch diameter I'm going to delete that that's a three and a half I want to it's and draw another line on top of that And we want to create some kind of a, a shape here. To give that a bit of a dishing. And we could radius these top edges here, but I'm not going to bother with that. Um, this is up to you to, if you want to, I'll spend a little more time with this or not. So we have our um, our boundary and now we just need to define how we want to revolve that around. And we click complete. We now get our 3D geometry. And I'll um, 
slide off to a 3D view here. And our opening looks a little large, but uh, you get the idea. Actually, we can probably go back and edit that pretty quickly. I'll make this three inches. Oops. Okay, so we have a wheel. Let's go to a front elevation here. Oops, I guess I'll go to a left elevation. So we get a straight on out of our wheel. We want to actually um, kind of reach up now and crutch our structure. So let's um, let's create another a few reference lines here. So I want to make another reference line. Let's see if I can catch the bottom of this. That's great. And we kind of want to be up, I'm thinking 12 minus the 2 for our beam. So we want to be up at 10 feet. So I'm going to take this line and go ahead and copy this up. And that's the amount of space that we need. That's uh, the glazing height. So let's uh, go ahead now and kind of construct some sort of a piece of steel structure. So we'll go ahead and we'll make an extrusion. And we'll build a little profile. Um, let's just get an idea of a width. Let's say we want that to be at the top um, six feet wide. Then I'm going to just come down here and taper this down until we could, you know, theoretically get underneath it. And then come over here to our axis line. And I'll just mirror that over. And we'll just join things together here. And we need a top, um, kind of a solid plate of, of metal. I'm going to complete this off. I think our uh, basic appearance is going to be a lot taller with a much smaller wheel, um, which is really fine than my original drawing. So let's we'll take a look at how that looks. We're going to make a little extrusion here of the flat top plate. And we want it to be pretty thin. That's I'll just complete that off and make this six feet. We'll look at that from a front elevation. So now we have our, I'll shrink this down. Let's see if we can grab our wheel and move that off. We're going to want two wheels, so I'll go ahead and mirror that over. Let's look at our top piece of extrusion here. I'll just pull this over. I'm kind of forgetting what that looks like, so we'll come back and um, deal with that in a second. And we need some kind of, I think, some extra kind of gusseting here. So let's go back to our left elevation and create one other extrusion. Oops. I'm just going to do it unreferenced. Use two inch thick. Come way down to the top of the wheel. And we'll move that over. Go to our front view and see where we are with that. And we need a pin to go through the center of the um, wheels to act as an axle. So let's go ahead and make another extrusion right away.
We'll make that the same size and then we'll just extrude it out. Make sure that it has a little bit of a presence to it. We're just really sketching out loud at this point. Okay, so let's give this a, let's save this. Um, call it the wheel assembly. And let's load it into our main project. I'll just place it and we'll go ahead and we'll rotate it. And I'll go to a front elevation so we can position it here. Looks like I'm a little short. I probably didn't pan out the um, the 10 feet right. I'll go back and correct that. Um, let's go ahead and just make a second one. And just take a look at um, what we're doing here with a view. And we're a lot of, I'm sorry, we're out of alignment in the other elevation. Also, we're flipped around. So let me let me go back to let me delete this and then rotate this 180 degrees. Um, and reposition it. And we can check to see how short we are here. I'm probably six inches short. Oh, I'm not going to get that way. Um, I'll catch it in the other view. I'm going to go ahead and mirror this over. Well, let's align it first. Let's go to the east elevation. Okay, so um, I think we could probably do a lot more with that, adding some wheels, but that's really up to your design intent. I just wanted to give you a basic feeling for what was going on with the initial idea of the construction of this. I might take a few minutes and actually embellish these a little bit better, and then we'll come back, see what I've got finished, and then move on to the next task.